It's been a little bit since my last video, but I wanted to update everybody. There's been a lot going on. First off, everybody has been asking about the cucumbers I'm growing in the Black Magic Pails. And I just wanted to let you know that uh, I am doing a lot of pruning. I'm pruning off the uh, extra branches as well as uh, some of the uh, leaves that are aging and uh, trying to keep the uh, reservoir uh, refilled with fresh nutrients. But uh, that's one thing. The other is uh, somebody said that uh, they had picked up one of these uh, grow pels and the two inch net cups were uh, actually uh, getting pushed through by large plants. And so I took a quick look at it and found that, uh, yes, the uh, two inch net cup is slightly smaller um, than what these openings are. Now, these openings have two stages. They have the initial ring that you see there, and they also have a slightly narrow, uh, well, yeah, I'd say slightly narrower um, ring inside of that that the net cup edge sits on. However, uh, I'm finding the wide lip net cups that are not pictured here resolve that issue. Someone else said that they were having issues uh, with the pump stopping to work, and what that is is a simple fix. Um, this uh, tubing that you see sticking out is not normally sticking out, and it's curled inside. But uh, inside the unit, there is a uh, lever switch, and there's a pump that pumps uh, nutrient water up. But if you were to turn that 180 degrees, uh, the nutrient will pump out that tubing that I was showing you coming out the top. And it's very simple to drain the unit into a bucket. At the bottom of this uh, six gallon bucket is a pump. And the pump oftentimes is functional, but it has a foam uh, pad that's used as a filter, and there's uh, the three screws that you see down there. But if you were to uh, pop the uh, tubing that comes out up the top and open up the uh, compartment lid there, just a simple fix is to pull the foam pad out and clean it. Or, you know, if it's uh, got a lot of organics in it, you could even unscrew all three of those screws remove the pump itself and uh, soak that in a bucket of cleansing solution, give it a quick scrub, and it's good as new. Also, in regards to peppers, uh, these pepper plants are now around day 88, and uh, they're starting to produce uh, fruit on them. The variety is New Mex Easter, and it's a great way to get uh, pepper plants in a short period of time over the winter time and uh, produce a little bit of spiciness for your foods. So this is my Vivian Romaine lettuce and I pulled a gallon bag of lettuce off of it the other day and it is still looking lush and full. I'm taking the older outside leaves off of it and I should be able to continue getting quite a bit of uh, salad material off of this particular stand from this 40 watt garden bounty and when it's uh, done and I clean that garden out I've already started some seeds there's a dozen uh, new little grow plugs full of Vivian romaine lettuce as well as a couple cucumber uh, clones that I cut off the ends of the vines of the cucumbers that I showed you just a little bit ago one other tip that I found was if you're going to grow uh, things such as kohlrabi or cabbage, uh, cauliflower, that they seem to take a little bit longer when grown in hydroponics. So it's a great idea to grow them to a much larger transplant size before moving them into a grow out system. Also plants like basil, the Genovese uh, variety, will grow enormous and it's been a chore to keep it cut down. It's grown much more quickly than what I could use in my garden. So I'm thinking about switching over to a uh, dwarf variety that does not grow as tall and wide, uh, maybe a thinner leaf uh, variety. And these three micro dwarf tomato plants are doing quite well. I said something in a prior video about I was going to try something different, and so I did. I, I cut off the uh, branches that did not have flowers, 
and was wondering if that would help me out any. You could tell that the pruning did help accelerate the ripening of uh, some of the tomatoes. There are three exceedingly large uh, red cherry heirloom tomatoes. And so I've thought that, you know, maybe I, I took off a little bit too much of the vegetation, but it seems to be working out quite nicely. Some of the other uh, blossoms that were on top of the other two of the three plants are now starting to uh, put on green tomatoes, and I've been quite satisfied with this uh, pruning method of pruning off the branches that are non-flowering. So I think I'm going to end up with a much larger harvest of ripe tomatoes. It's easier to take care of when they're not all bushed out and just growing everywhere on the garden. And uh, these uh, tomatoes have been in this particular system for, uh, let's see if we can get this on the camera for you. There we go. 91 days, uh, and it is around 100 days that we usually see tomatoes starting to ripen off of microdwarf tomatoes, but it is a lot simpler to get in and add water and nutrients when I prune. It's a much tidier setup, and it's much easier to cover, you know, in terms of the lighting over the tops. And here's just another peek at something else that I'm trying. Uh, the plants that you see here were from a uh, tomato plant that was growing in a 14-gallon cracky drum. And it was an extremely old tomato plant. It had used up all the nutrients and was dying. But for some odd reason, even after I turned off the grow light, uh, it was probably about three weeks later, these little shoots barely started to come up off of the dead growth. And so I thought, well, I'll trim them off and see if they root. If they do, hopefully we'll be able to extend the life of that original mother plant and have some golden harvest tomatoes in addition to the red heirloom tomatoes that I showed you just a little bit ago. So if you enjoy having fresh foods indoors, you know, it's quite easy to do. As a matter of fact, growing in water eliminates the use of messy dirt. And the other thing that uh, it does for me is anytime I want to spin up a new grow, it's just filling up a container with water and plant food. And I don't have to lug uh, grow material back and forth. On um, the uh, cucumber plant, I'm getting some very nice Isnik variety uh, cucumbers. And those are parthocarpic and gynocaceous and uh, they just keep producing, producing, and I've been able to uh, enjoy those. Uh, one little other tip is to keep those picked off because if you let one get on there and grow too large, it's just sapping the energy out of the plant. And in for uh, you know some some nice cucumbers, and the uh, cucumbers are better, in my opinion, when they're about that size. You don't want a uh, extremely large cucumber that's just sapping the energy off and preventing other cucumbers from growing. So that's what's going on in my world, and hopefully you're enjoying your gardening. Be sure to like, subscribe. I'm hoping to uh, update you with some more information in the near future.